Hello fam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this report. You're not going to believe this. The same guy we talked about three weeks ago that found Tanzanite which weighed 6.3 kilograms, which is estimated about 3.2 million dollars, who became a millionaire overnight, now found another diamond which is estimated for 2 million dollars. Is this guy lucky or he knows something we don't know? A Tanzanian miner became a millionaire overnight. A small scale miner in Tanzania has become an overnight millionaire after selling two rough Tanzanite stones, the biggest ever found in the country. Tanzanite is a rare gem only found in Tanzania, so it makes it that more special. Saninu Laser earned $3.4 million from the country's mining ministry for the gemstones, which had a combined weight of 15 kilograms. Quote, there will be a big party tomorrow, said Mr. Laser, a father of more than 30 children. Yeah, you heard me, I said 30 children. He had 30 children. He really needed that money. Tanzanite is only found in Northern Tanzania and used to make ornaments. It is one of the rarest gemstones on earth like can you imagine waking up and just becoming a millionaire overnight finding the largest gemstone ever found the largest that have ever been found was 3.8 kilograms this guy found a 9.2 and a 5.8 kilogram gemstones I'm assuming that day he just woke up thinking I have a lot of bills to pay this 30 kids oh, this is a lot like what do I do and then he goes mines and God was like say no more and he's a freaking millionaire. That is such an awesome news to hear. Mr. Laser said he would slaughter one of his cows to celebrate. He also plans to invest in his community in Insimanjiro district in Manyara. Yeah, you saw that, right? We just talked about him and how amazing it was. Even the Tanzanian government congratulated him and it was such a big deal. And he has lots of kids. We were talking about that and how now those millions are going to go to those kids because we all know how expensive it is to raise kids. So now the same guy finds a third Tanzanite, which is a precious stone. Again, I am really thinking about booking a flight to uh, Tanzania and mining there. Seriously, I am motivated to change my life overnight. He got $3.2 million for the two Tanzanites just like a month ago. And then now he has another 2 million. Like what is it with this guy? We really need to know the secret. Is it luck? Is it God? Is there something that, that is leading him there? But you know what? It got me thinking. You know, precious stones, diamonds, Tanzanites, those gems usually are um, in, in, in what? Is, there are layers to soil, right? In that particular layer. The place that he's really looking for, there may be, I suspect there's even more to be found. So if I was a miner in Tanzania, I would definitely, definitely start working towards around um, where this guy mines and hopefully get lucky as well because this is just like hitting the lottery twice and how often does that happen? Anyways, we're really happy for him. And plus, um, the last time when I was reporting, I remember him saying that he does not plan on changing his lifestyle. He'll still have his cows and his cattle and his children. He just, he says he would, he will continue living the same way. Nothing will change about his lifestyle. Maybe he said, except for building a mall or a school, which is, you know, a noble thing to do the school. So congratulations to him again. Um, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this guy's luck. And um, I will see you on the next one. I am Wengil Zalala, I'm bringing you the support. Bye.